Hey guys, Legends of Chimmy here, bringing you another review, and this is of Aeris Eagle Interceptor. Comes comes with eight, 348 pieces, ages 8 through 14, set number 7003, and includes three minifigures, and let's take a look at the box. Alright guys, for our box, we have all the information needed on the side. We have our three minifigures, Aeris, Razor, and Rizzo. And then, up at the top, we have the logo and Aeris up in the corner. Then we have all the uh, play features that are included in this set. And then up in the corner, like always, we have always too many figures fighting over the orb of tree. This time we have Aeris and Razor. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for the box. Now let's move on to the minifigures. Alright guys, for our first minifigure, we have Aeris. She is the warrior slash maybe princess of the Eagle Tribe and the main character of this set. And she does come with this uh, eagle weapon that is very common to that tribe. And here we have her molding which has a tiara I guess on there with a little orb of chi. Then right here we have our her head and she has her eyelashes to give away that she is a female. Then right here she is smiling. And um, in her description in the Lego Club magazine she uh, is supposed to tell jokes or something like that. But um, so yeah. And we have her wings. And then take her head off and her armor. She does come with gold armor. We have her torso and she does have her uh, belly button right there to um, yeah, give away that she is a female. And right here we have her golden armor all over and on the lower torso. And she has her claws right here. And on the back we have some very detailed uh, back printing which I'm really liking. They gave her a lot of armor on the back. So, um, yeah, there we go for Eris. Now let's move on to the next minifigure. Alright, here we have our next minifigure. It is Razor from the Raven Tribe. And he was the first minifigure to be released. Um, like, they released some of the 2013 minifigures online, but I got mine at um, my local Comic Con in November. And so I was quite lucky to get that. There are other minifigures on sale, but I decided to get him. And, um, he doesn't really look pretty new to me. Um, but in the Lego Club magazine, his, um, description is supposed to be that he is selfish and greedy. And is the not, maybe, not leader, but, uh, I guess, warrior, kind of like Eris of the Eagle Tribe. i take his head armor off. We we'll have red and silver. And then right here we have his face which is very detailed. And then right here we have his um, like like if he's not impressed. I'll give you a look like that. And it comes with this uh, sword. And if we take his head and armor off, we get this body, which uh, has six straps on it to hold the orb of chi on his chest. It comes with the, some purple printing on there, like if they were feathers. And then we have the claws down at the bottom, of course. And his hook hand, which I really like, as if he had lost his hand in battle. And so, there you go, uh, Razor, now let's move on to the next minifigure. Alright, here we have Rizzo from the Raven Tribe, yet again. He has this little weapon right here, which shoots this red energy, or laser. Then we have this uh, little beak or feather, it could be either one. And then uh, he is sort of a uh, very damaged uh, character. His eye has been scratched up and so he puts metal on that. 
Here we have his crazy face as if he's scared or if he's just mentally insane. And then his other part is if he's not impressed like Ray's are. And so that's how he looks. Then if we take his head and armor off, we get basically um, Razar's body, which is not really creative, but whatever. And then we have his uh, little wounded leg. It has been chopped off. And so he puts his little robotic peg leg on there. So yeah, there you go for our minifigures. Now let's move on to the main part of the set. Alright, here we have our main part of the set, and I forgot to include this in the intro. Um, sorry about that. Um, but it is a Raven vehicle. You could put uh, Razor on there. Oh. And it comes with some feathers right here with the huge new pieces. And then it has the um, saber swords right here sides so it can shoot and we have our like uh, really little gray beak right there and some eyes and of course it has to have a head on there and then we have the um, blasters or the rockets and if we put Razor on there he is now driving it and flying it and so yeah there you go for that and now we have our big part of the set, which is the Eagle Interceptor. Um, we'll start off on the front. Um, for the front piece, uh, it is, of course, an eagle head, and these little blue um, pieces can act as eyes or um, maybe lasers or some kind of projectile. And does come off like that so that um, Eris, well, if the vehicle uh, does like crash or get very injured, then you can put Eris in here. But of course, you have to take off the wings on Eris and put it right there, I guess, like so. There you go on there like that, and you put, where did Eris go? There she is. And you put her in there, and now she drives the interceptor, or the front part, in the cockpit. And we have this little sticker piece right there. And they do connect like this. So, yeah. Then we leave that off so we can go into further details. Down here we have the claws which are black and uh, yellow and I'm glad that they um, thought of this. They put these pieces on there instead of these huge pieces because the talons they save the middle one for the big and so I'm very surprised that they did that. I, I like that they out of that and the legs do move like that and these sonic rockets and so they can bend back like that and then we have one back talon one on both sides and here we have the rockets or the engine and and then we have uh, the feathers on the wings one light blue piece and three um, dark blues. And we have this uh, main uh, good guy symbol on both sides too. And of course earlier we put these wings on there. And one on both sides. And then right here um, we have these, um, yes, they, no, they're not fire missiles. They're just little rockets and Right here are the flip fire missiles, but of course I hate them. Oh, piece pop. Uh, it's flying everywhere. <laughs> and um, and they did do this with the um, Razor's Chi Raider. They
they put these little red rockets under the wings right there. So I find that found that quite weird that they did that with both vehicles. But whatever. And then we uh, open this up to find the Sora Chi in there. We get this little crystal. We just put it in the middle or anywhere. Like that and then under the um, feet we get these little rockets they are printed pieces which I really like they could be very useful I'm glad that they did that but you store this down and then we get these little uh, back feathers the tails and they're four dark blue pieces so um, yeah that about does it for this review Wait, and of course we have to put this back on. And now that about does it for this review. And I will see you guys on my next review. And this is Linda Chima signing off.